Rejection sensitivity doesn't just mean that your feelings are hurt when you're rejected. Rejection sensitivity is much more. I'm Sol Smith, I'm the author of the Autistics Guide to Self-Discovery. When you are a neurodivergent who is so used to being ostracized, so used to being an outsider that you sense rejection even when there is no rejection, but not that, even when there is acceptance. When you feel like your invitation is because they feel bad for you. When you feel like people tell you that you did a good job on the thing that you wrote, the song that you sang, and you feel like, mm, they don't really feel that way. They're saying that to make me feel better. Or people say, man, you do good at this. And you go, everybody appreciates me, but they're appreciating me for the wrong thing. They're appreciating me on the wrong level than I intended. And this kind of thing, where we feel like they can't see our authentic selves. We feel like they can't appreciate us on the level that we never want to be appreciated on. This is rejection sensitivity. This is going to pop up over and over again in our lives. This is going to increase our alienation even when it's not intended. Yes, we are alienated more often than others. Yes, we are rejected more often than others. But we can let people in. We can be vulnerable. Not with everyone, but with some people. This is why we need to come together and build this confidence to be able to fight back against this kind of rejection sensitivity.